says Chris Rock, he referenced oh, the now infamous Oscar slap heard around the world during his tour in Atlanta, um, just hours after Will Smith um, released the apology video. I um, mean, he basically just said, uh, he's like, everybody is trying to be a fucking victim. He was like, if everybody claims to be a victim, then nobody will hear the real victims. Even me getting smacked. <laughs> he By said, Smith. Yeah, you know, he's stupid. <laughs> Not Suge Smith. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, yeah. You he's always, stupid. You can always count on Chris Rock to just make light of some shit. Yeah. You know. Exactly. He was like, yeah, even with me getting smacked by Suge Smith, I went to work the next day. He also added, so anybody who says words hurt have never been punched in the face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that too. That part, nigga. Yeah, that, that too. <laughs> Definitely that too. Yes, there's a big push and wave with mental health as a whole, which is very important, very much needed. Um, it needs to be made the normal to if you feel you need help for whatever issue you have to be comfortably be able to talk about it, not shamed about it. That's very important. But at the same time, we're also in the time in the wave. We in a, a extra soft, pussy ass society, extra soft, extra pussy, extra just. I'm offended by everything. If you blink or breathe too motherfucking hard, nigga, I I'm offended. The speaking, of which, speaking of which, I'm sorry. I just uh that did, did just go into what we was just talking about. Do you see that uh <laughs> that they about to make Beyonce change the lyrics on her new album? Bruh. Because of whatever, because of what apparently now spaz is a fucking slur. Come on, man. To the disabled Bruh. community. Where the fuck? When, yeah, where where the fuck? I'm not doubting that, but why the fuck am I just now hearing that in 2022, in the first year? I mean, for the first time in my 30 years of life, that that's just a slur to some type of community. What the hell is that about? That shit just I don't know. Because that really that really upset me. Because that that's and that's my point exactly. That that's where that we're really at right now. You got motherfuckers, they they like yeah, traditionally we have, especially being a black person, we, we can speak on this shit better than any motherfucking body. We come from disrespect and slurs and being called niggas and this and that and every other racial shit and being beat in the streets and all that shit. We come from that. So we definitely understand what it really means to be offended. We really understand what uh, an offensive slur means. Right now, these motherfuckers are searching and reaching and breaking down and analyzing. They're looking for a motherfucking issue and problem. Deep Some in shit that's yeah, some shit that's not even blatant, some shit that's just not even meant in that kind of context. They are searching and looking and breaking down, going going over shit with a fine tooth comb. And if it's the smallest, smallest things that might could be a little something, we're going to break it down and, and try to shed the person's character and break them down. And they are racist. This bitch word I ain't never heard of. Um she uh the woman uh calling Beyonce um uh I don't even know how to pronounce that shit uh, uh Abelise. Ableist. Ab uh, Ableist. Ableist. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a Ableist. So you look that up and it's somebody that is um it, it basically means somebody that is discriminating against a person with a disability. <laughs> so the having the word <laughs> spaz in your music, how is that? being discriminatory towards a person with a disability how i just i just feel like this is the era of uh people you know no matter who you might be or whatever your background is where i guess if th this is the time period if you if if it's ever been some shit on your mind that's been pissing you off this is the time to say it yeah they just so yeah, but they but they doing too much because once again, like Chris Rock, I, I love that statement he said. He right, if everybody is a victim, the real victims will not be heard. And I get that. 
if y'all gonna be some soft pussy petty motherfuckers and every little thing that somebody does or says is an issue when somebody really has a serious issue or something of serious offense that really needs to be addressed people aren't going to take it as seriously because this is like uh everything's a fucking war. issue yeah yeah everything's and then, and, an issue and, and, and you keep on shit we ain't gonna be able to say fucking nothing and then we exactly just up here looking being silent looking stupid yeah that's gonna be the next it's, it's gonna be uh we was uh on the podcast and the way he took that breath after he said his statement, it, it was an offensive breath. Going, I'm going to a, the Alaskan wilderness. <laughs> on you, on you, and and I feel like I will have a better time with with giant feral gray wolves than than you <laughs> than you niggas, because uh, yeah, you man. niggas are you niggas are soft. I, I need to go live. I need to go live with animals and 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 no, because I'm I'm tired of all this soft shit. Yeah, I just can't like I understand even the level that we at, you know, me and you still have a voice. We we broadcast online, accessible to the whole world every week. I know that words matter and words can make a difference. Words can bring joy, they can hurt. I understand all of that stuff. And you know, I'm always going to you know, even though we don't really bite our tongue and we say what the fuck, you know, we want to say when we talking about this culture, we still are still sensible, respectable individuals. And we never just going, you know, just say no super out the way shit to, you know, derogatory just to, to fuck somebody up. You know what I mean? Right. But it's just like. At the same token of things with everybody being so unnecessarily extra sensitive and you almost just doing it once again we live in a a clout nation i feel like a lot of these motherfuckers do this shit for clout you know they the the you know everything is on brand with a lot of this shit you you do this shit for clout if i can create a movement and a hashtag uh about this issue this offended me that can push my cause push my organization more into the line like we're in a clout nation you know what i'm saying we're definitely there but it's just like if, if the shit needs to change speaking from a creator perspective and when i say creator that can be us we're creators you know what i mean we're media people um there's creators in music and art and entertainment and all that stuff you're basically tearing down the whole foundation of being a cre of being creative of using your imagination of being able to express yourself as the um as the amendment says that we can you know have the freedom of speech and all these different things y'all are just tearing at the fabric of that because every fucking thing somebody says it's a problem it can't be everything somebody says is a problem you you find if you find if you're that type of person that finds an issue in every single thing somebody says from this perspective, from that perspective, you need to take a look at yourself and yeah. it may be, it may be you and maybe not be that, that next person. And this is coming from a black man, a black man that you got, you got drew here and you got Vaughn here. We're black men. We know what it means to be offended. We know what disrespect and real slurs sound like real <laughs> shit. It, it ain't no embedded shit. It's been boom right in our face, right there. We ain't have from to break it one. down and decipher from day one. So yeah, y'all pipe down with that bullshit. Yeah, y'all be all right after a while. Y'all yeah. be all right. Shit is ridiculous.